Hello and welcome, Mr. Viking Bob coming at you with another video. A disclaimer before I start, I have a bit of a sore throat right now and a fever is slowly catching up to me. Right now. So if I sound a bit stuffy, I apologize. So, new patch just hit, release 18. Let's get into it. Release 18. Suit changes, any quick suit, sliding no, not consumer charge anymore. Charge will now be consumed when leaping forward out of a slide. This, I saw something about this in the last patch, so let's see if it actually works in this, in this iteration of the patch. Weapon balance. General, projectile speed has been added to all remaining weapons. From now on, only hit scan weapons, beam weapons, namely the Gorgon and the Zeus beam. As a result, fall of damage has been reintroduced for the beam weapons. New visual effects have been added for projectiles from energy weapons. So this is interesting, I'm gonna check that out. Going into ads doesn't lower the sensi set, sets, pfft, set sensitivity anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tired. Uh, I don't know. I haven't noticed this in the game before. Let's see if I notice what it actually does, because I'm just bad. <laughs> Mods. All the chain reaction mods have been removed. Cue the sad music. We believe the mod wouldn't make sense with projectiles and don't want weapons to be used entirely because of one mod. I can understand that. We are considering new weapons, new kinds of weapons for the future instead. Hopefully weapons that revolve only again uh, around chain reaction then, because it will be missed. Adjusted mod descriptions to, f to reflect the current state of the game. And here we get all these uh, chain reaction removals. We got Scarab. Get a 5% player damage bonus instead. Basilisk. Monster bonus. ICA guarantee. Monster bonus. KKR Maelstrom. My baby. No more chain reaction. <laughs> instead we get increased damage against monsters. The Manticore increased in-air accuracy to be more in line with other assault rivals. That's a good buff for you Manticore users out there. The Phasic Lancer, removed chain reaction. Same there. Damage against players, 5%. High frequency emitter mod. The mod does not reduce burst intervals anymore. It reduces the refire time. This means the mod used to reduce the delay before every shot of a single burst. It will now reduce the delay between each burst instead. Don't really know what this means, because I don't really use the Phasic Lancer, but maybe for another video in the future I will check this out. Voltaic Brute. Removed barrel coils. Added light alloy body mod. Increases the add speed, so you just aim faster. Gorgon. Now this is a big one. Adjusted the recoil. Uh, last patch they added it so it kicked a bit more. The, the laser was going upwards. Don't know it, what the change is. We're gonna check that out in the game. Reduce direct damage from 12 to 10. So this is just a plain jailing damage nerf. And here we see the fall of damage being reacted. The damage will be reduced by 30 percent between 50 to 80 meters. So what this basically means is at 50 meters you will see a, the 30 percent start to kick in, but it won't be at 30 until you are at 80 meters. At least that's what I think it means. Removed flash modulator mod. Added streamlined core ports. Increases the reloading speed, so you will be able to reload the weapon faster. Which is good, because in the last patch they added some nerfs to the reload speed, so maybe we're getting some, some of the old Gorgon back? The Zeus beam. Re-added fall of damage as we saw earlier. And the same thing here, it starts from 60 to 90 meters, 30%. The Zeus Beam is still gonna be a strong weapon, no doubt about that. The Gorgon, however, the damage nerf uh, together with the fall of damage might make this weapon not competable with the other 200 credit weapons. Maybe, we'll check it out in, the, in, uh, in game later. Abilities. Health boost have become shield charger. Does not doesn't give you HP anymore. It just gives you 200 shield restoration instead, which is good. 
I agree with this this change. If you really want a health boost, fucking run the last stand instead. Um, and maybe if you're a real mad lad like myself, you can run the shield charger together with the keber right now. Then you have both shield restoration and HP restoration. I know, crazy, right? D warp added a visual trail effect to show which direction the user traveled towards. This is an interesting change. No idea if it's a buff or nerf. It's definitely a nerf. Back in the day, uh, when you didn't know where they ended up when they used the D-Warp, there could be some big brain plays going on. Now, not so much, since you will probably see where they ended up. Triad's Sphere. Improved visibility by changing the visual effect from an actual sphere to a cylinder area indicator. No, we're not calling it triage cylinder. I like this little humor they added in here. I'll have to check that in, in game as well. MISC. The leaderboards on Prospect Station will now properly indicate what game modes they're referring to. You will. I think the case is not supposed to be there. You will now get a notification informing you of your new rank after playing ranked map. XP earned towards Prospector levels will now be based on the amount of time spent in the match. Good incentive to stay alive and play the game. And there's a bunch of bug fixes. And what I'm gonna do is that you can pause the video right here, if you actually wanna read all of these. Now you will be able to pause the video here, if you wanna continue reading the bug fixes. Okay, going down to known issues. Carrier stats may not update quickly enough. Closing and opening the window should update them right away. Career stats are not reset. Some data may be affected by the previous weeks. Interesting. Voice chat will not work in the lobby when using the setting. Push to talk will work just fine. Also interesting. Sorry about my throat. Please remember, we are still in early access even though Season 3 has started. The game is still in development. This means that bugs and crashes are to be expected. This should always be in effect, even if the game is released, because whenever you update your game, even if it's a released game, this can always happen, so keep that in mind. If you find any issues during, the, during your session, please don't hesitate to report it using the bug reported tooling game. Everyone should do this. Help the developers out. Please also keep in mind that queue times, especially late at night, might be longer than expected due to lower player count around these times. Self-explanatory. We hope you have fun during your time on Fortuna 3 and look forward, of, forward to reading your feedback. This. Remember guys, they actually do read the feedback. Also, if you want to check this out on your own, the link is in the description box below. There will also be a link to the official Discord server of the cycle, where there's a lot of community manage managers and a lot of content creators like myself, and of course a lot of the players of this game that just hang out. So check that out if you haven't joined that Discord server yet. Now let's jump into the game and see what some of these changes look like. Okay, standing in the shooting range, checking out the Gorgon first. How the recoil pattern have changed. Okay, so it is actually a recoil pattern right now. So it goes to... let's go a little bit closer. Usually it was just kicking up, now it's going up and kind of like a snake pattern. So if you want to adjust your recoil to stay on target, you like hold down and... Yeah, you hold down exactly as this pattern goes. We're making a snake or whatever. Uh, so that's the change to the recoil pattern for the Gorgon. Let's see the damage over time. So I'm just gonna go over here and... It's still doing 12 though, but I guess that's the weak spot damage. So the damage is 856 in like 7, 5, 6, 5, 6 seconds or something that was. Uh, on the... If I upgrade it twice, it's 9. That used to be 10. And it's 13 for the weak spot. 
Okay, so that's the that's that's the shame. Let's try to walk away. See, yeah. Oh shit! If I can actually hit it from afar and see what the damage is. 68 meters, 70 it was 80 meters. 80. Let's go. Okay, so it's only six now, and looks like 339 on the damage meter for one mag. So that's a big change. Maybe it is still competitive against the other 200 weapons. Let's uh, let's check out the projectile speed and the new uh, look on some of the energy weapons. I mean, that's not slow. Even for not being like a, I, I, th I don't think it was a hit scan earlier, but you can definitely tell there's a little bit slower than it used to be. See if we can pick up uh, some different weapons. This, for an example. Oh shit! Okay, it's going all over the place. That's fast, though. That's very fast. That's very fast. Basic glancer, maybe. Still very fast, very good. I see there is a little bit of a visual change. Let's the scrapper out. Well, that's all over the place now. Keep in mind, most of these weapons are unmodded. The only thing that wasn't unmodded was the Gorgon. Uh, let's check out the Voltaic Brute. Still very fast. And there's no damage drop off on these weapons, it's only the Zeus Beam and the Head Gorgon. Let's take the Flechette, because it's a 200 cost weapon. And uh, the Gorgon. And let's try to see the damage comparison on the these two. 20 meters. We should want to start at maybe 50. 30... 50. Four shots, three seconds, 899 for the ASB flechette, which is currently, I, if you ask me, the best 200 credit weapon. Now let's see the Gorgon. You can see there, 899. It was at three seconds pretty much, not nine. And let's try. 689. So that's, it's a big di difference, big, big difference. But, uh, as you saw, this was a little bit easier to control further away I was. So it might still have a spot as a good 200 created weapon. Let's go try the PDW versus the... Versus this thing, because I think that's a difference. I can aim the PDW a bit better. I will apologize in advance for this video not being very short. Right here. 617 It will be the same. Oh, oh shit, I didn't. 600 it was and 604. So it's it's still competitive. That's all I can say. These both of these guns were about at 600. So they're both competitive. I mean the Gorgon is still competitive. It still has its place. I'm glad about that. Now let's check out this uh, this sphere. The cylinder sphere. <laughs> Did I check the wrong ability? Did it look different before? Oh, uh, maybe it did. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was way more outlined before, I think. That's a pretty change. Now let's try the directional warp and see how it looks. I'm traveling that way. Oh yeah, so it comes out as a as a burst of lightning. Well, you can still make some big brain plays with that. Overall, the changes as of yet that I've covered, pretty good. Now, they did add some new places in the map as well. Uh, there's the new arrival station at the Prospector Station. And some visual changes overall on the maps. So stay tuned for that and look out for those. They're pretty. Bob out.